Hello, this is John Kamalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. I want to take you again to the world of Kyrgyzconis. And we're going to go here and look at a, a gentleman. Well, we can call him young, but he's 44. And obviously he has Kyrgyzconis. And we're looking at his scans here in um, February of 2017. So this is almost three years, four years ago, I'm sorry. We are in uh, October of 2020. So we're looking here at steepest K measuring at uh, 48.5. And this is him today, 50.4. So we have a dramatic deterioration along with the shape of the cone. We can appreciate and the differences here show uh, progressive ectasia at 44. And of course, after questioning, and despite the advice we gave him back in 2017, he rubs his eyes and he admits that I get pleasure out of rubbing my eyes. I feel better. And that's the nature of keratoconus. We're trying to look at the topometric indices and we've shown that the IHD is a great indicator of the progression. We were at uh, 63, we're almost at 70, and ISV was 60, and now is 67. So we certainly have progression here. We lost about 10 microns of thickness. And again, another sign that things are getting worse. Let's look at his right eye. The right eye, although milder, mirrors the worsening. See how the right eye shape and intention of cone has worsened. So the reason I'm sharing these images with you is the fact that uh, no age is immune for keratoconus. And eye rubbing is the, uh, of course, the um, fundus exam here is normal. And the um, eye rubbing is the uh, accelerator. Uh, we're gonna jump from this gentleman and the uh, impressive images that we saw to a young lady. And this lady, uh, besides uh, having beautiful eyes, uh, she's in her um, 20s. And uh, let's look first at her pentacam scans. We're going to look first uh, the uh, milder right eye, actually left eye. And this is her left eye in September of 19. So this is just a year ago. Um, her age, to be a little bit more precise, is... 22. So she's a young lady. Um, we were at 48.7. We're at 47.9. So no real difference. The actual cornea looks improved by 0.8 diopters. And this is with using one of the most precise instruments known in cornea, uh, sign fluke tomography. Uh, let's look at the um, other eye. We're looking at the topometric indices here of the left eye. Keratoconus stage one to two last year, one to two this year, uh, IHD 45, 43, ISV 48, 47. So all the numbers look better and her vision is stable. She's at 20, 30. Let's go and look at the same uh, parameters on the other eye, the right eye. The right eye is a little bit worse, 51.9 last year, 51.5 this year, an improvement of half adapter no change in cornea thickness, and um, we'll go and look at the topometric indices for the right eye as well. And um, IHD 74, 77, a very slight difference, ISV 75, 76. So we should advise this young lady that her keratoconus is stable, vision is in the 20, 30, 20, 25 uh, level in both eyes, some distortion at night, She's planning on getting a driver's license and things would be all great if we were not very inquisitive and we did not check her, her anterior segment OCT maps. This is the um, OptiView Avanti and this is that same lady imaged with the um, OCT, total cornea thickness, epithelial maps and these are our maps today. And this is compelling evidence that her keratoconus is worsening and we cannot ignore this clinical finding. The worsening is masked by the epithelial remodeling. The uh, uh, sign fluke uh, tomographies are unable to detect these differences. And we'll look at the other eye as well that also confirms worsening of the cone in both eyes. This is the uh, now right eye imaged in uh, September of 19. A year and a month later, Keratoconus has definitely progressed. If we subtract the epithelial thickness from the total cornea thickness, she's lost 15 microns of cornea stroma. This patient, in my opinion, of course, demands uh, counseling. 
not to rub the eyes. Number two, in my opinion, um, needs to have uh, cornea cross-linking. We're going to look at those maps again. Um, right eye, 19, 2020. Left eye, 19, 2020. And back to our favorite theme, epithelial maps are a must in keratoconus, are a must in refractive surgery, uh, screening and postoperative management. And I hope you found these cases as compelling as we did. Thank you so much for your attention. This is John Kenlopoulos signing out.